What's up, guys? My name is Carlos Roberto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. So, as you all know, we are quarantined. We can't go out. We can't do anything. Our barbers are closed. And a lot of us are going crazy with our hair. So, today what I want to do with you guys is do a quick trimming session at home. So, I did a really quick one for you guys because I encourage you guys not to cut your own hair. You're just going to mess up your hair and you're not going to be happy at all even though there are other things you could do to your hair that you can do yourself, like trimming your sideburns and also cutting around the ears and your neck area. And this, can, this is gonna make a complete difference in your look and your self-esteem, most importantly, because we all know that that's down the drain when the hair is long. <sighs> so what I want to share with you guys is exactly how I did that because I didn't, because because knowing, because if you're familiar with my channel, you guys know that I'm very impulsive and I do different hairstyles differently. I do different haircuts all the time and I feel like I just don't wanna do this to myself because I did just cut my hair really short and it's finally coming along a little bit longer. So what I have for you guys today is how to trim your own hair during quarantine. And also this is a good time for you guys to explore different hair looks, different hair, different hairstyles, and also maybe if you guys want to grow it out, this is the perfect time to be growing out your hair because you're not going outside, you're not being seen by anyone important, your crush is not in class with you or at home, and if she is, congratulations. But this is the perfect opportunity for you guys to be patient and grow your hair and get it to that length that you wanted to. Or if you guys want to explore with knowing how to trim your own hair and just get yourself put together without having to go to a barber or visit a barber, then this is the perfect time to do that as well because at the end of the day, if you cut a little bit off, it'll grow back. If you cut a lot off, you're just gonna feel bad about yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this video right now. All right guys, so here I'm starting to use the trimmers and going around my ear just to cut off any stray hairs. I'm not trying to define the whole way around my ear. I'm really taking it easy, I'm taking it step by step hair by hair because that's very important because i would rather do it that way than trim off a whole bulk and mess up my hair so as you can see right here i'm being very patient and i'm going very slow everyone's hair is different everyone's cyber is going to look different maybe a little bit more bushier maybe less bushier but do what it takes to be patient Now here I am taking the comb and I'm just brushing the hair down so I could see exactly the longest length is and going from there because at the end of the day I don't want to go into my hairline because then that's when disaster may happen. So what I'm doing is making sure that all my hairs are the same length, the longest length on the sides and I'm just going ahead and trimming and that's what I'm going to trim uh, to make that equal. I'm not going into my hairline like I said, I'm not going to try to do anything fancy, try to fade any of that because I don't know how. So I'm taking my time here and I'm just going very easy around the sides of my hairline and down my neck and taking off all that hair that is there. Like I said guys, this might be something that may take you uh, an hour, this might be something that may take you 10 minutes or 5 minutes. Uh, what I recommend you to do is just take your time, be patient, and don't rush the process.
so here you go guys uh the bottom of my hair is a little bit the bottom of my hairline is a little bit tricky down my neck because that's where i usually get a fade so that's usually the shortest part of my hairline essentially it's 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 the thinnest um so what i'm doing there is just being very careful and you know stretching out my neck a little bit looking down so that i could see exactly where that line is going to end up and that just makes my life easier Also, guys, if you guys have a friend, if you guys have someone you trust that could do this for you, I highly recommend you doing it as well. That's if you really trust them. Do a trust fall first. And if they fail, then don't do it. So, guys, here I'm trimming my beard. And the first one I thought I was filming, and this is already cut. But this is essentially what I'm doing. I just take about the two of this trimmer and I disconnect my beard a little bit. I don't want it connected and i make it look very accidental because i'm not supposed to have this beard so i'm keeping it that way so i'm just going ahead and disconnect my sides right there like i'm doing i'm using uh just the blade to do that very gently and what i did around my lip was just make sure there was no hair over my lips and that's pretty much it I did trim my beard too guys and it's very easy I don't really want to do a big deal about my beard because I don't really have much I just have this and some of you guys have been asking for it I don't know why but I did a little bit of what I do so bear with me guys I don't have hair and I don't care so there you guys have it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up what are you guys doing for quarantine what are you doing for your are you combing your hair are you doing your hair are you having a particular hairstyle other than bad hair uh, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want to hang out with me more visit me at by Carlos Roberto on Instagram where I upload every single day at 8 a.m. Don't forget to put style on everything. Peace.